Oh. You will in two seconds. <laughs> We're doing rules update, then a ledge update, and then that's it. Good morning, Chair Poston, members, uh, Garrett and Volendorf, staff and guests. Lobbies are open. Recording has begun. Thanks, Justin. We'll convene the board caucus meeting for Tuesday, September 12th, 2023. Um, our first uh, item today is a rules uh, update and board meeting prep, and I'll turn it over to Cassidy West, Policy and Rules Manager, and then Daniel Jacobs, our Policy and Rules Coordinator. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Chair Postman, board members, Garrett and Volendorf. This morning, um, I will start with alcohol updates. So tomorrow, Daniel will, will have the public hearing for the 2023 li liquor legislation. Um, and in terms of the, um, and so Daniel will be taking care of that tomorrow. Uh, we don't really expect anything there, but you never know. Um, for alcohol delivery and mass 13 permit privileges, the timeline on this has changed since I last we all got together. Um, we had additional conversations that ended up being um, more robust and comprehensive than originally planned, which is great. Um, but all that means now is that we're going to be sending out draft rules um, and holding stakeholdering in October instead of this week, which was originally planned. Um, so for trade areas, we um, we do have a timeline together on that finally. We've been conducting additional stakeholdering with tribes. We're going to set up two more um, sessions, uh, kind of preliminary while we're getting the, uh, these draft conceptual rules together. And then we'll be sending out draft conceptual rules publicly and have public stakeholdering um, sometime in October or November. Uh, any questions about alcohol? No. Great. Um, so for cannabis, um, October, we are planning to bring the CR 101 for uh, medical cannabis endorsements. It was a petition that John Kingsbury previously um, put forth that the board had accepted. Um, and so CR 101 for that in October. Again, we have the batch tracking petition that will be um, providing a res <clears throat> the response and recommending uh, what the board do for that um, on October 11th. Um, and then in terms of the THC and sampling, uh, THC bill and sampling, uh, we're going to be holding additional stakeholder engagement sessions this month. I'm actually working this morning um, on figuring out solid dates and putting an invitation together. So I'll have something more solid for you tomorrow on that. Um, and I think that's it for updates. OK, great. Thanks. Um, are we going to do separate? Uh, prep with Daniel for tomorrow, or is that, did we cover that? It, it's just the public hearing. Oh, tomorrow is the public hearing. Okay, Daniel, yes. Anything to add, Daniel, for tomorrow? Uh, Not really. Um, okay. Just, you know, yeah, we're only doing, it's the rules on the short-term rental operators, uh, the Airbnb permit for them to obtain directly from wine distributors. Um, we haven't gotten a whole lot of feedback yet but it's it's possible i've, I've heard there might be a, some folks who are going to testify tomorrow at the hearing on it um but uh otherwise i i i'll brief you more on it tomorrow i don't really have much to add okay that's great okay cool thank you both thank, thank you it. uh our next time we're going to do a, a legislative update um and um justin and mark if you want to or either and or <laughs> They're just looking at each other, trying to decide who, <laughs> who gets to come up. Mark, sure. um, uh, Mark Webster, Director of Legislative Relations. Remember last week we talked about where we were at. We refined a little further. Right. I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Chair Postman and members Volendroff and Garrett. Uh, we've been preparing an agency request proposal to do with cannabis advertising, as you know. And as you also know, there was a bill in the legislature last session on the same topic. It passed the Senate and died in the House. So I think for several weeks, the decision point has really been, do we want to work with the bill that's already there or do we want to put forth uh, our own? Uh, industry groups or some in the industry suggested using the existing legislation, which is Senate Bill 5363. But we wanted to, to look into our options a little bit further. So I asked the governor's office and specifically our policy advisor uh, and the, the strong recommendation uh, was to 
uh, seek amendments or to use the existing piece of legislation, in part because it's simply further along in the process and in a short session trying to draw those distinctions between that bill uh, and our proposal, uh, we, we could run out of time. Uh, further, we asked uh, local government associations, the counties and the cities, both of whom said that they were supporting 5363 and would be perhaps neutral uh, on our proposal. So uh, with very uh, plenty of easily identifiable opposition or support for the 5363 pathway, and with not a lot of identifiable support for our own uh, bill, uh, I think the, the recommendation would be to, to work with uh, 5363 and to not put forward ours. Um, so that's kind of where we are. Any? This is Ali, and that makes sense. And like you said, during a short session, what, what, um, who is it that we will be working with and to kind of what we were trying yeah. to make sure in our bill, if we would have had a bill, and what they're saying to kind of make it come to a good place? That's, who yeah, that's will a great... we be working with? Primarily the, the prime sponsor, which is Senator Drew McEwen. Uh, it, so the, the bill that's out there uh, was much more limited in scope. The only thing it did was to uh, remove the, the cap on cannabis advertising size. The, they had to be uh, 1,600 square inches. So that cap is removed. So the proposal that we had, uh, I think, actually goes further because it uh, allowed for more signs, like a, a larger number of signs. So, uh, you know, if we wanted to seek amendments to the existing bill to move it more like our proposal on the number of signs, I think that's something that that industry industry would presumably support. Um, so, have we ever met with them before we thought about an agency request bill to say this is we, what we would like? And to, was there any opposition to more to more signs or anything? It, we certainly well, had. Drew, uh, we certainly had meetings with with industry where we tried to walk them through ours. I think there was a little bit of confusion initially, and so we spent a long time trying to to say exactly what ours did versus the the, the current proposal. I think they understood it. I think they they just simply preferred that the vehicle that they had, which they saw as much cleaner and simpler. But if you're talking oh, about my question a year is, ago, did Ari? we try to work yeah. with Drew? And oh, to right. give our recommendation before we thought about an agency request bill. No, last last session, in fact, we largely just stayed out of this. We, right. you know, partly because we had our own big heavy lifts right. uh, with THC and social equity, um, and with this was one that we chose not to really get involved in. Is is my recollection? That's right. Of, of right. That. We, yeah. Um, but, but, you know, it's evolved some, I mean, one of the things that Mark and I have talked about a little bit is where were local governments, you know, last session, they were, they were also uh, in my mind, kind of on the sidelines. They didn't testify. They didn't show support. Now they're coming forward and saying they do support the McEwen bill. So that seems to put a little weight behind it. Um, and I think that we, you know, your point from last week, uh, Ollie, about how it's important for us to get out there and show where we're at. In a way, we were able to do that by circulating the bill and showing that interest. And I think th our participation will be welcome. I would just say, from my perspective, I also don't think that means we go in and push for more songs. Right. right. I think if the McEwen bill is the vehicle, and it's and it's a, it's a different approach. The McEwen bill is a different approach than what we had. But if that's the preferred one, let's work with them and see if we can, you know, make sure that it's enforceable for us. Right. Um, I also want us to continue to work uh, and talk to uh, prevention and public health because they have some concerns around this. They weren't necessarily part of that conversation last year. I think we can help bring them into the conversation this year um, and, and come up with a bill that maybe almost everybody likes. Right. Yeah. And I think my, what I was getting at, and maybe this is not part of a normal process, but before we even, when we thought about an agency request bill, would it have been appropriate for us to have met with the existing 5363 first before we even considered 
an agency request be? Oh, that's my question. That, absolutely. That's a good question. And we have tried. We have been uh, with the executive director, Lucella, we have been trying to get on his calendar uh, for over a month. Um, OK. Yeah. OK, that was we'll, my we'll, question. We'll, did we try that? Right. That's true. That right. true. We did. We did not do what you suggest, Ollie, which but is yeah, prior sure. to doing the draft, go to Q and and say. Right. But we what we have tried to do is to get in touch with him before we actually submit it. Right. Um, right. To do just that. Yeah. yeah. But we didn't. Okay. We submitted the draft first. Yeah. I think the draft, again, served as our sort of right. signal of here's what we're thinking. Yeah. Right. OK. You know, and as I said, I think last week, some some people saw that as a welcome involvement. Some people saw it as, you know, well, why are you interfering with, yeah. you know, the existing bill? And so different people saw it differently, but at least everybody knows where our head was at. Yeah. Right. And, it, and I think it officially expresses that interest that we want to be a part of those conversations. Right. You know, we don't yeah. have those two big bills like we did last session that were far more important to this agency yes. at the time than the sign enforcement. So. Yeah, no, I was just throwing that out there, yeah, too, yeah. and I don't know if this ever has happened before where we are considering an agency request bill when there's an existing bill that before we go forward and do. Yeah, and I like I said, I don't know if these situa this situation has happened before, but would we have tried to work with the existing bill sponsor first? Good question. It is. I think that's something we can think about next year as Absolutely. well, which is as we start our process, do an inventory of what's out Absolutely. there. Right. Of course, it'll be a little different because the session will be over. But, right. you know, now we right. have the so this bill is live, you know. Right. Exactly. Um, yeah. Halfway through the, the process, just about. So it'll have to repass the Senate, but it, won't. it goes back to rules right on Correct. the Senate. It doesn't go through the policy right. committees there. But, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. No, I think that's a good point. It is. So that means we we just have our one piece. We have the one piece on uh, administrative penalty options, which is on the sales to minor piece. So, and you know, I think for a short session, that's okay. Right. And we'll free up uh, Mark and Justin and Will uh, and others to work on other bills that are making their way through the process and make sure that we're a part of those conversations. Right. Um, you know, there could be a lab bill. Right. Um, I don't know what else we're expecting, but that I know we're expecting. Home grow. Home grow, rest, protection type right. things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. And then that brings us just uh, to our last item of board member and executive assistant reports. Justin, anything from your desk? Uh, nothing for me. Thank you, Chair. Jim Morelli, anything to share today? Um, okay. Uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow at 10 o'clock here. Uh, we'll have an update on the social equity uh, program. Um, and uh, with that, we'll adjourn for today. Have a great day.